Lindsay here, back to my Jeep project. I have finished doing my liquid masking tape. I did three coats of it. Now it's time to uh, get everything cut and prepared for painting. I'm going to use my um, X-Acto knife, which is a hobby knife, and I cut out all the pieces I'm doing first, which will be my black. Now when you cut with your X-Acto knife, make sure you have very clean uh, precise lines. If you overcut, like for example, in here, this top is going to be all black. So when I cut it, I want to make sure my corners and points are exactly right on um, with each other. So if I overcut, say, into the door, just that tiny little cut is going to have a black line in it and I do not want that because that's going to be a different color. So be very precise and careful with that. Now I'm doing the darkest color first, which is black, because I want to make sure that when I do my light colors, they stay light. Um, of course, if you do this first and then you're black, the black is going to make your light color dark. And if you don't want that, then don't do that. Okay, so I have finished cutting out all the pieces uh, where I'm going to paint black. So you see it's all clear. That's where the black's going to go. I went ahead and put some masking tape above the holes just to make sure nothing gets on the outside of the body even though it does have the protective film on it still. I just want to take as much extra precaution as I possibly can so it looks super. So now the next step is to take it outside and go put my first thin layer of the black paint in these spots I have cut out of the liquid masking tape. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my first very thin layer of paint. Uh, the reason why you do such a thin layer is so the paint doesn't pull up or you can have a drip mark. That's going to be my first thin layer. I'm going to let that dry completely, then go ahead and do a second uh, layer, and it's going to be also somewhat thin as well. Alright, so I have completed painting all my uh, parts I'm going to do black. I did three layers of paint. Uh, my last layer is nice and thick. So now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. The longer the better. Once this is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of the liquid masking tape that's in there. Then I'll move on with the second color, which is going to be the coral blue for the body color. Um, once that's done, I'll have one more color left to do, which is these little silver plates. And since the silver is the lightest color, this is going to be my last color to do. Okay, so now I have um, taken off all the other the rest of the um, liquid masking tape. So now it's just black. That's what I painted. So that's what that looks like. So now it's time to go ahead and do my um, final color, which is my body color which is going to be the coral blue. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and go out, back outside and spray my final color on it. Okay, so I finished doing the last color for my body color. It's the final color. So now what I'm going to do is go through completely dry now. I go through and put a nice thick layer of this regular pure white paint. Just so it gives the inside one nice solid color. It'll just make it look very fresh and clean. After I do that, I will go ahead and peel off all of the window stickers, of course, once that's completely dry. And I'm going to do some window tint on those. And that will be my final step in the painting process.
Okay, so I have finished my paint on my Jeep. I went ahead and did a thin little coat of white underneath just to make it kind of cleaner looking so I didn't have all the black and blue on there. So now my final step is to go back outside and paint the windows with the window tint. Okay, so now I have completely finished painting everything. I went and did my windows. Nice tint on there. So now I'm completely 100% done with all of my custom painting.